All right, if you're trying to calculate average of averages in Power BI, one function you can consider is to use the average x function. And so to kind of illustrate how to do this, um, let's just assume that someone's asking what the average total salary is across different business groups, okay? And so this is the raw data table that I've created. Um, and this is kind of the, the question at hand here, which is, uh, you know, here we have a bunch of different employees and how much they're getting paid. Well, when you aggregate all these different uh, groups of people, what you'll see is you have four different business groups. And across those four different business groups, roughly how much are we paying across those four, all right? Now, this is a problem because uh, what people are going to be tempted to do is they're going to be tempted to use average. You know, if they're a little bit more junior or beginner to Power BI, they're going to try to use the average function. And when you use the average function, and especially when you start to put it in tables and it's visualized in a way, like what you're not going to realize is in this particular example especially, what's happening here in actuality is that um, this is this this total value is not this, the average of these four apartments, but rather this is the average total of the underlying table across every single row, okay? And so to kind of reinforce that idea, if you were to go into Excel and brute force it, if you see here the average of all these people, if you take the average function of all these people, you'll see that it is 47360, which is this number here. What you should be expecting when you're asking, hey, what is the average total payout across business groups? That is these four averages summed up and divided by four. What you really should be expecting is 47188, all right? And so where does that number come from? It comes from the average from each department. So the average of these four numbers is 3850. The average of these two numbers is 21500, and so on and so forth. And then when you take these four numbers, you sum it up and divide by four you should expect to get 47,188. And yet, when you look here, what we're getting is the overall average. So um, just keep that in mind that depending on what you're trying to shoot for, um, it, you may get deceptive results, and you might get lulled in a false sense of security because of just how the visual looks, but the numbers themselves might not be right. So with that said, um, how do you calculate it, all right? So first things first, um, let's pull up the average function or average x function, so average total, average of averages, we'll call it that, total salary. Okay, so we're gonna call average x. So when we pull the average x function, what it needs is it needs a table and an expression. So what we need here is, um, okay, so, uh, yeah, let me, let me start by purposely making an error. So what we need is a table and we need an expression. So what tables are available to us? We have this table, this data table that I called table. It's not really descriptive, I know. And then we need this, the expression. Well, the expression is just salary times the bonus, all right? Now here's the thing, like, if you do it this way, you are now making the same error as just using average, okay? The reason why is because when you throw this in, oops, when you throw this in here, all right, and let me make this, let me format this, do that, make this zero. Uh, when you throw this in here, what you're telling average x to do is, hey, look across this entire table. So even though you put it in this table that aggregates at the business group, average x does not care because the table that you told it to look at, almost think of it as a, a virtual table, is actually this table right here, okay? So yes, visually it looks like it's an aggregate, but it's doing the math based off of this underlying data and then furthering like grouping things after the fact all right so that's why this would not work but this is the right function to use so then how do you fix this so then what you should do is you should create the virtual table that you're thinking of and to start I'll use the summarize function the summarize function is something that creates a summary uh, by using some input table and then by some other parameters okay so in our case it's going to be table and then the parameters that I want to create, once again, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to visualize a virtual table. And so maybe to better help illustrate this, oops, I've completely botched that. Move this over here. Let me kill these things. What I want to do is I want to try to imagine this, all right? I want to try to create this virtually in my mind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here. I'm going to summarize. So 
using summarize, what's saying is, hey, tell me first off, where does the data come from? Uh, it comes from table, all right? Now tell me, how do you want me to group things? Well, I want to group it by business group, so I'm going to do that, business group, all right? Next, you know, going back to what we're seeing back here, I'm going to leave here again. Uh, next, what do you want me to average? Well, I want you to take the average of each of these business groups and or, and then average those values, okay? So what I'm gonna put here then is, we don't have this value available to us. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to calculate it. And that is fortunately for us uh, a feature available in the summarize thing. So I'm gonna call this average salaries, okay? And then I'm gonna give it uh, expression, so average. And so um, how do you calculate average salaries? Well, it's just the average of total, total salaries available by the count of people. Now, if we're lucky, we'll have the total salaries column already existing for us, in which case we can just reference it using the average function. So total salary, we close that, and we create a virtual table here. All right, so it's right there. Now, going back to average, what are the parameters for the function? Well, we need a table, in which case we just created one, and then we need an expression. The expression is just average salaries right there because this expression is what we're going to average across. And when we do it that way, we close our uh, brackets, or not bra uh, our, I don't know what we call them, I'm blanking right now, parentheses, and what we should get is the number we expect. So if we throw this in here, we'll see 47187, but if we format, we go to zero, we should get 47188. If you look here, when we manually calculate it, it is indeed 47188, right? So um, that is how you use average x to calculate average of averages. Um, one thing I will further explore is, hey, what if we conveniently don't have a column available to us um, to, to calculate you know, this virtual table of averages? Well then, unfortunately, what you're going to have to do is you're just going to have to calculate it out here. And depending on what you're doing, it can be simple, it can be hard. But in our case, let's just say we want to do um, still the averages. Um, it looks daunting, but really it's just kind of a nested. It's just a nested um, function. So in this case, remember, if we don't have the um, if we don't have the total salary, what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to create, um, we're just going to have to call the proper function, which is funny enough, average x again. So it's going to be average x. And this time we're actually fine with calling the original table because uh, we need that underlying first. So it's going to be salary times bonus. And that's it. And it should give us the exact same number when we press enter. And as you see here, this number did not change because functionally it is the same thing. So in case you don't have a column, you can just calculate yourself, um, but really it depends on your situation yeah, to dictate what kind of function you'll have to use here. So yeah, hope that helps. If you want to calculate average of averages, you can use average x as one way of doing it. And um, 